to the MKBHD of Cubing YouTube. That's the perfect description of what the Cubehead channel is. I mean, look at his setup, look at his quality, look at his editing, and look at his hair gel. Need I say more? Well, yes, I do kind of want to expand on what I just said, because in May 2023, Cubehead is predicted to hit 1 million subscribers, and it's my duty to break down his channel before then. So, through these three segments, let's find out exactly how. The other day, I was on the YouTube Discord server when my friend Zane from the Cuban Critic said this. Then I responded to him in an affirmation and said this. Now, I know my wisdom is a lot higher than Aristotle's, so it may be difficult to understand what I just said. So, let me explain it. Most big name YouTubers have a niche. ZHC does art, Mark Weber does science slash engineering, but the biggest of them all, also known as Cuban, does not. Why? Because his niche is basically his personality. Most of the time, he relies on his humorous comments and upbeat personality to make his viewers return. A lot of the people who watch his videos come to just see him mess around or watch him hilariously talk about some cubes. His fresh ideas never fail to disappoint, something that the cubing scene is really lacking at the moment. Well, in some places at least. In fact, just his intro and outro are simple ways to build his fan base. <laughs> Yo! Ciao! Which he even managed to branch out into his own cube line and it also made him very, very iconic. Nevertheless, he also makes sure he provides informative value with that, telling the viewer what he likes about products, what's going on around him, and explaining his violent tendencies around Pablo. It's not hard to identify that Cuba easily has the best quality on the Cuban scene, and that is undebatable. You can just see that by looking at his thumbnails. They always have a great cinematic outlook, with great lighting, facial expressions only rivaled by Cuban encoded, and overall just a very clickable picture. They say a picture is worth a thousand words and Cuba has mastered that concept. On top of that, this one look at his insane studio-like setup is further proof that he deserves the title of the MKBHD of Cuban. Aside from that beautiful background blur, his color grading is also on another level. The soft balance of smooth lighting in some areas, contrasted with the dark peach vision in other, underlies the tone of the video which keeps creating that feeling. You can see how he fixes everything before production maintains it during production, and adds the touches post-production. Oh, and speaking of production, a really important part of that is editing. And honestly, who has better editing in the cubing scene than Cubehead himself? In fact, to prove this, let's just analyze one minute of this video to see how he edits so amazingly while also keeping your attention span in the best way possible. So the first thing we see here is his zoom jump cuts, and they are very effective in comedic effect and keeping the viewer engaged. Along with this, we see the subtle audio effects of the cube timer. Sounds like music to my ears. I can visuals of what he is talking about as he tries to paint a picture of how good this timer supposedly is. However, this is where the moment of genius comes in, as he laughably says, Timer that worked on my computer. And that sets up for the perfect transition. But before the transition, there is that grayscale filter, which makes it turn sad, but it's also slowly zooming in on cube showing the emphasis on how miserable his life is after finding out this horrible truth. However, this simple transition into cinematic b-roll should also be noted, as it feels cinematic but also determines the new mood. Kind of like hope but more about finding a better timer. And yes, he used to work with Thora. Which makes his viewers remember a key word, as he's trying to advertise and show the many features of this timer. It's really important to identify words like this so that you can make them memorable as well. As far as the information of the segment goes, clearly outlines what he's going to cover in the video, while adding the comedic relief and showing how he can fix it. All of this while having the perfect cinematic bureau to show exactly what he's talking about. Now, after all of this, I think we can all agree that Cuban is a master at editing, the best, if not one of the best, and he should start his own skill show course on editing. Anyways, it doesn't need to be said, but I'll say it anyways. Cubehead has reached nothing less than a pinnacle of Cubing YouTube, and that is only because of the amount of effort he puts into his videos. So Milan, you've completely revolutionized how we now make Cubing videos, and please don't change your content style as before, and just a pre-congratulations when you hit 1 million next year. And if you happen to enjoy the video, check out every 3 by 3 algorithm subset up here, and down here is the incredibly shadowed story of Matt's fault. Please remember to like and subscribe, comment down below, share this video, have a wonderful day, and peace out.